We are back with once again another gold camel guide. Today we're covering the 1911 pistol, which is the middle tier pistol of the game. It struggles in some areas, but shines in others. Other than that, it just lays in the middle as an average pistol. The hardest part about getting gold on the pistols is leveling them up. To level up quickly, take advantage of zombies XP during double XP weekends, where the more people you play with, the more XP you will gain. And in a game of 45 minutes long, you can get the pistol almost to max tier just in that short amount of time. Even though leveling up in zombies is easier if you're more of a multiplayer player, play in whatever playlist or game mode you excel at just to level up your pistol as fast as possible so you can get right onto the camel grind. For attachments while leveling up the pistol, I highly recommend using the attachments that benefit your playstyle, whether that means you increase your ADS times and movement speed times and sprint to fire times if you're more of a rusher player, or if you like to hang back even with pistols, you can add those attachments that will increase your bullet velocity. What I run is attachments that is a healthy balance of the two where I can get in and rush really quick as well as manage my own at long distance. The pistols aren't that hard to manage especially in hardcore which is the best game mode I highly recommend to work on camos is hardcore domination or hardcore nuketown 24-7. However in hardcore nuketown 24-7 bloodthirsties can be a struggle sometimes just because the amount of assault rifle spam that occurs on that map. The thing that's really good about the 1911 pistol is that it outshines the magnum but not quite the diamati. It has a decent fire rate which can help you in in a lot of situations, but in high traffic areas where enemies are always pushing the objectives or just traveling through the map, it can be hard to get double kills sometimes, so you do have to distance yourself and play smart. The better players will find this weapon very easy, but for those new players where this is your first time going for a mastery camo challenge, this weapon can be difficult. Also, don't expect to win gunfights against snipers, marksman rifles, shotguns, or even assault rifles and SMGs, especially at longer ranges. The only time that the 1911 shines is when you know the map knowledge and no spawns just like you're seeing in the gameplay in the background where I'm taking advantage of the spawns and map knowledge and using it to my advantage to excel with this weapon. We're gonna go into the specific camo categories now, and there's a total of seven categories with five camos in each. Once you unlock all 35 camos, you will unlock gold. Once you complete gold for all three pistols, you will unlock diamond. And then once you get diamond for every weapon class within Cold War, you will unlock Dark Matter. One thing I forgot to mention is it is more efficient to unlock multiple camo categories and work on multiple challenges at once, rather than just working on the challenge that you unlock as you level up the gun, which is where leveling up the gun extremely fast will come in handy. The first camo category is unlocked at level 0, and this is going to be spray. 150 kills, you'll complete this as you progress through the other challenges, so don't worry about it. Stripes is unlocked at level 5, this is 50 headshots. This can be a little bit difficult, this is where hardcore comes in handy. Hardcore equals one-shot headshots at all ranges, so if you're good at aiming for the head, or if you can slow down your gameplay just to give that little extra second to aim at the head, take advantage of that. Players that are camping and standing still are obviously going to be easier to hit. Classic is unlocked at level 10, this is 20 bloodthirsties. I highly recommend not doing this on Nuketown, unless you're an extremely good player at Nuketown, just because you can die in a lot of cheesy ways where assault rifles and SMGs will kill you before you can even see or even ADS on some enemies just because they're camping. For Bloodthirsties, take advantage of maps where you have lots of map knowledge and game modes where you know the spawns. Geometric is unlocked at level 15, and this is getting 25 long shots, super easy with pistols since the pistols don't require a lot of distance between you and the enemy to count as long shots. I highly recommend actually playing in the new playlist that is out right now within season one, which is Raid the Mall, which includes the two maps, Raid and The Pines. They're big maps and have lots of areas to get long shots with pistols. If you're playing the game when this playlist isn't active, take advantage of hardcore domination to get one shot long shots at extreme ranges on bigger maps. Flora is unlocked at level 20 and this is 25 kills with enemies being affected by your score streaks, equipment or field upgrades, whether that be your UAVs, your harps, your counter UAVs, stun grenades, smoke grenades, as long as the enemy is affected by any of these, you can get this camo challenge done extremely easily. What I recommend doing is actually using a UAV, getting as much kills with the UAV as possible while it's active, saving up for your counter UAV. Once your UAV is done, run the counter UAV, and then if you get the harp, the same thing goes where only use one kill streak at a time so you can maximize your time and efficiency with this challenge. Unlocked at level 25 is killing 25 enemies while they're behind cover. 
These enemies just have to be head glitching or camping behind a barrier while they're trying to shoot you. Super easy to do on maps like the Pine, Nuketown if you're going from window to window from the blue house to the yellow house, or just any other map where enemies are taking cover behind a barrier or barricade. Super easy to do once you get the hang of this challenge. And the last challenge is Psychedelic and this is going to be 25 double kills. This requires you to get two kills within quick succession of each other making it super easy in hardcore game modes where enemies are constantly pushing objectives in domination. This is one challenge where I highly actually recommend going to Nuketown because enemies run in packs it seems on that map especially in game modes like domination and kill confirmed so double kills should not be hard whatsoever. That's going to be it for the quick and condensed guide for those getting help with the 1911 pistol. If you guys did enjoy leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike there's no hard feelings. Subscribe for more videos in the future. In the description there's going to be my discord link, a few social media links and the playlist for the full dark matter guide which will have every specific weapon as well as the full and complete dark ether guide and dark matter guide i'm about to head out and if there is one see you in the next one peace